Hi guys, I've had a few questions come in from earlier this week and I just wanted to take the opportunity to answer them because you might be able to get some information from them and implement it in your business. So the first thing I'm getting asked quite a lot is, what's the budget that I put on marketing? And the truth answer for myself is, I don't have a budget because when you're marketing, you need to be able to really look at how much you're spending and which advertisements are working. So if I had a budget and I have an advertisement that's working really, really well, so for example, for every pound I was to put in an advertisement, I got £10 back, really why would I have a cap on that when it's actually always returning me something? But the key to it is not just throwing money at any advertisement. So when you go out and you start to choose advertisement streams, what you need to be doing is ensuring that you know exactly what's working, you know exactly how much the advertisement's costing you, and where are those customers coming from, so you can truly analyze the data. Because you might be plowing money into advertisements, and this is what happens, you know, you might have three different advertisements that you're putting money into, but you're not analyzing it at all. You just know that you're getting customers. So what ends up happening is, when it comes to a point where you think, I'm gonna go and get you know, try a new advertisement stream, you might be a little bit apprehensive thinking, well, that, I, I don't know where I should be putting my money. And the reason for that is you end up being paralyzed because you've got customers coming to you, but you don't know from where. So you could be actually putting money into one advertisement and not getting a bean from it, so to speak, not even one customer. And you might be putting your money into one advertisement that actually is generally bringing most of your customers. But if you don't know this, well then really you're paralyzed because you don't stop one to put the money into another. So it's so important, you know, when I'm talking about a budget for advertisement, as soon as you start knowing your information in the background, you won't need a budget because you're able to then make informed decisions. Like, you know, if I put a pound in one advertisement and that generates me 10, I'm gonna keep putting it in, aren't I? I'm not gonna cap it. But if I've got an advertisement where actually I'm putting the money in and getting nothing back because I know that information, I'll leave it running for 60 days, 90 days at a maximum, and still it's not generating me anything, I'm gonna cut it dead. And I'm gonna take that money, and guess what? I'm gonna put it into the one that's working, or even test something new. So my answer to that question about budget is, know your information in the background, and you don't need a budget. The second question I've been asked is, how do I make sure I get the right staff? Now, People can be an issue, and it's not always really, really clear, but this is how I do it. In the early days, I used to employ on skill. And yeah, obviously I wanted people to be able to do the job. But then down the line, what I found was that sometimes the people that I employed in skill, actually, we didn't have our values aligned, which meant that they didn't see things the way I saw it. So they would give a different experience to customers or they would engage with the other staff in the business in a different way, which actually then caused issues. So now what I do when I'm employing somebody, I always look at their values. And it's not just a case of looking at and finding out, Ali's a nice person, you know, is this person right for my business and are they nice? It's, do we, are we on the same page? Do you see things as I think see things? And what that means is you as a business owner, you truly need to look at what are your core values? Because your core values will be actually creating your business and create the ethos of your business and the drive for it. So it starts with you knowing what your values are, you know, those words that really mean something to you, respect, um, it might be, you know, value, whatever those are for you. So it's understanding yourself first. And then when you interview somebody, it's about putting questions in place that you can really, really get a deeper understanding of that person as a person rather than them being frightened in an interview process of trying to give you the right answers because ultimately you're going to be working with these people for a long time and that's when you are interviewing i interview people for the long vision of the business and i want to know as much about them and i want them to also know as much about me as a person and know that do we connect are we on the same page what are your aspirations in life and where you're going 
So to get the right person in business, it's really about finding out as much as you can about them, letting them be aligned with your values. And it's not just knowing the word of what your value is, but it's being attuned to it as well. Because respect to me as a word could be very, very different meaning to the person I'm interviewing. So it's about really going deep because I find that if you get somebody and their values are aligned and you're on the same page and you, and you don't employ purely on skill set, people can learn skills. But who they truly are, their attitudes, their disciplines and what's really their drivers in life, you can't change those things. They're normally, you know, that's their values as well. So go from a position of being very open, transparent, finding out as much as you can about the person and knowing yourself as well because you'll have core values within your business and I find that then you're able to create not just a business of people but actually a team where you all work together and you understand each other quite deeply and you're all on the same page going in the right direction to make things work. And the final question I was asked was how do you make how do you get a balance in your life? Now when you run a business I understand obviously as a business owner that it can be stressful and you can find yourself what I call in the fog, in the mist, in the heart of it day to day. But there is a way to ensure that you're able to run your business and also have freedom in it as well which creates a balance. Like I have 11 businesses and if I was to try and be in every single one of my businesses every day I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm one person there's only so many hours in the day. So for me it's all about your mindset, that's where it starts. I truly believe that you need clarity in your business, you need to know where you're heading with it and you need goals. Because if you don't have those in business, you're gonna find yourself just floundering around in your business doing the things that actually is what I call noise. It's not the things that are gonna be able to get you the results you need to get. So you'll feel that you're always busy in it, pulled in it, but not actually getting anywhere. So when you have the right mindset, you're able to really know exactly where you're heading, know how you need to deal with situations and get the results you need to get. And alongside that, it's also about systemization. And it's key. Because I'm only one person, like you are. And I need to ensure that when I'm not there, things are happening in my business the right way. And with having 11 businesses, systemization needs to run through every single one. So I know that I can step away. And instead of trusting in the people and putting all my faith in one person or a few of them, I trust in the system. Knowing that I can place people into my business and they can run the system and get the results that are truly needed. So that allows me to be able to truly like step out of my business, do the things I wanna do, what I call working on the business rather than in the business and being able to have a balance in my life. So like today, this afternoon, I'm gonna be going to my daughter's sports day. And you know, that's the beauty of business. You're able to make these choices, but to really be truthfully have that balance, you need to have the right mindset, you need to have those goals, that clarity, know where you're heading, and also you need to systemize your business so that it runs without you. So that's my answer to that. So if you've got any questions you'd like answering, fire them in to me and I'll take some time to have a look over them and then I'll answer them as well. You know, be open, transparent, let me know where you are in your business. If you're having any challenges right now, fire them in and let's smash it.